There is this quote that I've come up with recently to help me wake up on these very cold mornings in the UK today. And it goes on like this. If you cannot get out of a warm bed and into a cold room, a cold reality, then you're not a man. You are but a boy. You're a child with these impulsive choices that you make in life. You just want to be comfortable in the here and now. You are just a boy, right? And this has helped me a lot recently because I know I talk a lot about these kind of little life hacks about how to get up and how to get going with the day, like, you know, putting your alarm clock at the other side of the room or maybe drinking a glass of water or calling your mate or something like that to have, have an accountability partner or something like that. But the reality is, once you get up, right? Once you are standing there in your room, once you're out of your bed, you've turned off your alarm, you're standing there, butt ass naked, right? In this cold, cold house, because you can't afford heating, right? And you're thinking, man, that bed looks really nice right now. It's still warm, I could just jump back in there, I could just really easily just fall back asleep, right? And even if you don't fall back asleep, it's just nice to just be in that warmth, isn't it? But you have to ask yourself, you have to be honest with yourself and ask, okay, what am I doing here, right? What excuse do I really have to give here, right? And the immediate response to that is like, oh, I just want to be comfortable. I just want, I just want a few more minutes, okay? You know, you know what that sounds like? It's like that kid, the school kid begging his mother, Oh, please, mom, five more minutes, please. I just need a bit more. Do you see how pathetic that sounds? Do you see how much of a, a pussy that makes you look like, right? It's not good. And so look inside yourself really, right? And be honest with what it is that you want out of that situation in that moment when you do give in and when you do go back to sleep, right? Don't give me this bullshit of like, oh, I, I need a few more hours of sleep actually. I need a few more minutes because I stayed up late last night or like uh, I, I I did a bit more, you know, at the gym yesterday or I need, to, I need more energy for something, the date I'm gonna go on later, like whatever it is, right? Don't give me that bullshit, right? Because I know for a fact the night before this is not what you planned. You didn't plan to get out of bed and then get back into bed and keep sleeping, right? Otherwise you would have set the alarm appropriately, right? So don't give me that bullshit. What you really, really honestly want to say right now, if you were honest with yourself and search within yourself, right? At least for me, I, if I'm honest, I just want to be warm and comfortable like right here, right now. I don't care about the future. That's what happens to me when I do go back to bed, right? When I deprioritize my future plans, my success, my productivity, whatever I planned the night before and whatever I kind of dreamed about doing, right? That's the reality, right? And so you realize it's just this instant gratification activity. Right? It's, it's, just, it's just for the here and now. It's just completely ignoring what you plan to do in the day, right? And so you can imagine how that makes you seem entirely like a child. It's not good, right? And so with that, you have to realize what it is to be that person, to be that character. Because when you are not intentional in love like that, you are just like a cork in the ocean, right? Like a, a cork from like a, a wine bottle, you just chuck it in the ocean and it moves along with the waves and the currents and it, it like hits random islands and countries. And yes, like things happen to it, right? But a ship, right? A ship charts its course across the ocean and it has this direction and purpose and an attitude of intentionality, of productivity, of success, of like, this is what I'm going to do. Here's what I've planned and here is how that's supposed to happen, right? And if we go off course, we correct. We correct course and we go on, right? 
So who do you want to be there? Who, what kind of character do you want to play? Do you want to be the cork? Or do you want to be the ship? Right? It's like the equivalent on land would be like, I'm driving this car, that would be the ship. And the cork would be some kind of rubbish, like a tin can that's almost kicking along the street. Right? You just allow yourself to be swayed by your own desires of, of comfort and just, oh, I just want that right now. I just, I just... And there's that element, right? The monkey brain inside of you that you let take over, right? The monkey brain wants you to be comfortable. The monkey brain wants you to be warm right here, right now, right? But the human brain's what what's got to override that. The human brain has to kind of say, okay, I understand that we need to be comfortable and warm right now. We want to be, but what we need to do right now is ignore that impulse and get on with the day, right? And pay attention to those honest feelings, right? How do you feel, genuinely, after having submitted to that monkey brain, like, oh, oh, it's warm and comfortable. You feel pathetic, right? After everything I'm saying right now, you feel pathetic after making that excuse. And you feel that pride when you do get up in the day, when you do get on with the day, when you're at your laptop, you haven't, you've haven't, like written something for the half an hour and you've brushed your teeth and you've gotten your hot coffee or whatever. You're proud of yourself, right? And by all means, do what you need to do, right? Don't just like suffer for no reason. Like, yeah, it's, oh, it's fucking cold. I've got to suffer. No, just because it's hard doesn't mean you can't make it easy for yourself, right? Make that coffee. Have that warm shower. Put your warm clothes on. Put some shoes on if it's that cold in your house, right? Do the things that you need to do to make things easy for yourself, right? Just because it's hard doesn't mean it has to be hard. You don't have to like make it harder, right? So when I get up, I'm like, okay, where's my jumper? I'll put on my jumper and I'll feel better, right? I don't like taking a shower in the morning because that makes me feel colder. Coming out of a hot shower, it makes me feel colder in a cold house. So that's not what I do, right? And know your habits, know your routines, know what you'd like to do and do those things, right? Getting up in the day is the hardest thing, right? Beyond that, make things easy for yourself. Give yourself a little bit of a treat, right? I've woken up, cool. I can indulge myself with a coffee or a hot shower or whatever it is, right? Maybe a morning walk, right? And so leverage those things to get you to wake up early. And that, that's the extra step beyond waking up, right? There's, there's steps to this, right? There's the gimmicky, tricky stuff with the hacks and everything like that. That's like, you know, put the alarm clock at the other side of the room. That gets you up in the first place. That's step one, right? The second step is the attitude. I could go back to bed, but what kind of person do I want to be? Am I pathetic? Am I a little boy? Am I a child who cries for his mum and says, oh, five more minutes, please? Or am I a man? choose who you want to be the attitude and then thirdly once you have made that that decision make it easy for yourself right reward yourself for waking up or just make it so that waking up is comfortable in the day right if you can afford your central heating put the central heating on i'm just kind of making up the worst case scenario like you're you're broke you're poor you can't afford central heating and you're you're fucking freezing in the morning like today is right now it's just it's nearly April now, right? And the UK hasn't got the memo that it's spring, apparently, right? It's just, it's, it's so cold. It's so, so cold. And it's hard. That makes it hard, right? But which do you want to be? Do you want to be the cork drifting along the ocean, bouncing along, what, along with whatever hits it, Right? Oh, this feeling, the emotion of something hitting you. Oh, I just want to be comfortable. Oh, I just want to be warm. I'll just go back to bed, right? So be the ship. Be the ship in the ocean. Drive your journey, right? And make it something that you are proud of, right? 
Just think to the night before. Every time the night before you plan this, you say, I'm going to wake up at six. I'm going to wake up at seven, whatever time it is. No excuses. I'm not going to snooze like I did this today. I'm going to get up. And just think to yourself of who you are. Who do you want to be? What kind of character are you leveling yourself up to become? Because you can level up in either direction. You can level up and be better at being a child. Be better at being a boy. Be better at being like some just waste of space. Or you can level up at being a man. Level up at success, at productivity. At benefiting the world around you through the work that you do. Right? So I'll leave you that with, with that one question that I said at the start. The quote that kind of came to me, I don't know out of where, but it's a quote that I repeat to myself and it's a quote that I would like to give to you to ask yourself in that moment, right? So just imagine yourself, paint the picture, right? You've turned your alarm off, you're standing there butt ass naked. I know, I know not everyone sleeps naked, but I do. So you're, you're there, it's freezing and you really, really want to go to bed. Just picture my face <laughs> asking you this question, right? If you can't get out of a warm bed and to the cold reality of life, then you are not a man, but you are a boy. Well, I guess it's not a question, it's a, st it's a statement, right? And what do you do in the face of that statement? That's your choice, right? And so with that being said, Knowledge is power, and the power is yours. I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.